Nobody really talks about these outer, higher octave planets, which are um, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Now, um, Neptune, Uranus was discovered first. It was 1781. A few years after the birth of the United States. <laughs> It just so happens to be Uranus rules Aquarius, which is the beginning of the Aqu Aquarian age, 1776. And Uranus is the planet of revolution, freedom, humanitarianism, um, higher ideals, right? That is the significance is Aquarius is Uranus in 1781, 1776, the United States, USA. Then <clears throat> Neptune is about... 1850 or so. Neptune is the planet of psychic ability, secrecy, um, art, and um, and it kind of is like a very dreamy. Just so happens to be discovered right at the time where we have the the Theosophy movement, which is the New Age movement, which is all. Uh, what's the name? Avlina uh, Bl uh, Blavatsky, whatever her name is. <laughs> her name. Anyway, forgive me. Then you got the Theosophy movement, Neptune. That's what Neptune is significant for. Then we have 1930. Pluto. Pluto is discovered. Pluto is the planet of transformation. It's a. Uh, no longer a planet. It's it's a dwarf planet. This is the planet I'm going to be talking about. Pluto. It's got a connection to Saturn because Saturn is a dwarf star. Saturn is not a planet. It's a dwarf star. Pluto is not a planet. It's a dwarf planet. So Pluto is known as Hades. Hades, right? You ever get into Greek mythology a little bit? Somebody knows about Hades. He's the god of the underworld. Well, that's just another name for Saturn, or Satan, right? Satan is the ruler of hell. It's Hades. And so, Pluto's transformation. It's not a good transformation, it was a bad transformation. He's about... Uh, rules, um, rules the eighth house of Scorpio. Scorpio's the sex organs. Eighth house. Eight. Eight is also the number of infinity. Death and rebirth. Not resurrection, but reincarnation in the flesh. Also, eight is also H, which is hell. In the past, never moving forward. You don't want to be stuck in the, in the flesh. <clears throat> Eighth house rules the sex organs. It's I desire. It's motto. Desire is the scorpion's tail or the snake or the phoenix. The eighth house is opposite. The second house. Second house is Taurus. Taurus is uh, your value, your possessions. The eighth house, Scorpio, is other people's possessions and value. Also rules um, your inheritance. You know, that's why it's transformation. You're getting something good from something negative, whereas if you're going to get something bad from something positive, that's how that's how this planet works. Planet Pluto. He's a sneaky son of a bitch. This, this Satan. This is the. This is uh. This is Rosemary's child right here. Scorpio. Uh, Pluto. This is his symbol. His son. Uh, his uh. Sigil. He's got a circle, half moon under it, and a cross. Like hey, here, here I am. So he's he's taking. And drinking the cup of the sun. 
dying, let's say. Because that's what Scorpio does. Scorpio's, Scorpio killed the sun. And you got Scorpio with Mars and Pluto rolling side by side. Across the street is a beautiful wo girlfriend, woman friend, girlfriend of Venus. Venus is women, man is Mars. Pluto transformation, 1930. Just so happens to coincide with the stock market crash. <clears throat> And this this planet Pluto is always there to make sure we eat a, a lot of crap. And so transformation. What is he transforming? He's transforming transforming man. He's transforming the sex organs. Right? Because eighth house is Scorpio. Second house. Taurus. Taurus is fixed earth, which means compacts physical substance, material substance. Diamond. It's introverted, meaning it's selfish. It's like a teenager. Mine. This is mine. I'm the man. You know, 18 year old. A little, you know, cocky son of a gun. And then we got the eighth house, Scorpio, which is fixed water. Fixed water is compaction water. That's ice. You get ice, motion, love, soul becomes materialized into a weapon. Because water is supposed to be liquid. Liquid water is cancer. Solid water is ice, that's Scorpio, and then we've got water vapor, that's Pisces. This is water, liquid, natural. Fourth house, eighth house is water as ice, which is transforming the soul, which is emotion, into, into, some, into money. So what is that? Turning, transforming sex into, into money. Let's say it's transforming the whole morality of the United States in particular and um, it just so happens to be Pluto was in Cancer that's the, that's the sentinel sign for Cancer 69 the crab Cancer is the mother the home light the moon and Cancer is cardinal water discovered 1930 but it rules in Scorpio so he's right here next to Mars transforming man into something else what is he transforming into well look and look at since 1930 you've had every year less and less care about you know um, morality you've had a liber you have had liberalism just popping its head out Right now, liberalism in this case, what this I'm going to be using, and I'm not offending hopefully anybody, I don't really give a shit. But liberalism is just another word for well, what we use it today, it's just another nice word for um, immoral, immorality. Which just simply means some, using something for what is not created and intended to, to be used by. But, you know, people just want what they want when they want it. So, it's their freedom to choose, you know. Um, okay, so, we've got Pluto, 1930, stock market crash, discovered and cancer, right? Rules Scorpio, that's another water sign, but it's ice. So it's basically using sex as a weapon, transforming also man into something else, transgender. Because when you get these transhuman, that's what Pluto does. You know, Pluto trans takes a message, like a letter, and then transforms it into 
some kind of crazy nonsense where they'll take a letter and tell you'll tell somebody to message it to somebody and they'll, and they'll transform it into an email and the emails made to like just jump out of the freaking wall. I mean, it's just it's nuts what Pluto does. Pluto's also surprising, kind of like Saturn. Anyway, so there we go. Pluto is very important to consider right now because Pluto is takes 248 years to make one cycle. This is important in the United States mundane astrology. The United States was born in 1776. 1776, Pluto was in 27 degrees. Capricorn. In 2023, about 10 years, it's about 12 degrees Capricorn right now. 2023, it's going to be 27 degrees Capricorn. That means that it's going to transform and going to be something totally different from what the United States was when it first began. And that's when you're going to see no more United States. Done. Maybe some significant then. Now, so here are some other significant factors and things that took place recently. 